the amazing thing, you guys. We'll stand guard over works of art 24 hours a day with armed guards and security systems that cost millions. And we'll throw any of these works of, works of art away. That is infuriating to me. I cannot tell you. I'm going to get an earful. I get all jacked up. I had a chocolate flourless tort tonight, and I'm all full of caffeine right now. <laughs> it's delicious. So I went to this lab in Quito, Ecuador, where this guy was breeding these little frogs. You know, he says, get a picture of this. There's, there's five left. We don't know how to get them to breed. Brings the next one out. Get a picture. There's three of this left. Same story. If they do breed, what do the tadpoles eat? How do you trigger them to breed? We don't know. Or two left. These. The males on the left, the females on the right. Let's show the very last Rab's fringe limb tree frog. He was named Tuffy because he'd outlived his life expectancy. This is at the Atlanta Botanical Gardens. But truly, I show him everywhere I go, and I think the key to our own salvation lies in this brown slimy frog the size of a tennis ball. For if I can get people to care about this, aren't you going to care about everything else? Right? He died, so that species is extinct now. I don't get bummed out. I don't get morose. I just get more agitated. Let's show the world what's happening. Because what happens to them is going to happen to you and me. Fast, by the way. In the blink of an eye. In the 17 years I've been doing the photo arc, this one's extinct. And this one. And this one. And this one. And this one's close. Oh, this is close. It's not just little stuff we're throwing away. We're, we'll throw away rhinoceros, the northern white rhino. Well, when I photograph Nibire, an old gal there at the Diver Krilave Zoo in the Czech Republic, there were five left. She came out, posed really nice, eating her favorite brows, laid down and took a nap. She's gone now. Two left now, mother and daughter in a pen in Kenya, and that's it. Do we care? What will we do when, they, when those go extinct? Oh, we'll write some editorials, and we'll be sad a little bit. But then the Kardashians will do something crazy, and that'll wash that away. We have a lot to celebrate. The Mexican gray wolf and the California condor and the whooping crane and the black-footed ferrets and the Vancouver Island marmot, even. These animals were all down to fewer than two dozen, and they've, they're not completely out of the woods, but they're certainly safe for now. And who does that? It's just people like you and me. People weren't born thinking, I'm going to save an endangered species, but people saw a need and they rushed in and they filled it, and that gives me a lot of hope. The fact that people are so giving when they see something, we just need to know what to do, what to do in this big old world, right? Well, meet some heroes of mine, Sandra Schneckenberger, who is a mouser. She's a Fish and Wildlife Service person who takes care of beach dunes by taking care of the mice, the federally endangered mice that need it. Or Don and Ann Butler of Clinton, North Carolina. They raise in their series of aviaries over their lives critically endangered pheasants, including the Vietnamese pheasant here that's extinct in the wild. Tilo Nadler, who went to Vietnam in 1990 as an electronics engineer and saw this big problem with primates, baby primates, being smuggled for the pet trade from Vietnam into China. If they were confiscated by the authorities, these babies were being euthanized because there was no place to put him. He's like, it wasn't my work, it wasn't what I knew how to do, but what am I going to do? Let him die? So he started the Endangered Primate Rescue Center with the help of his family and friends, and they have single-handedly saved the Catball Langer and the Delacour Langer. And this guy started this project when he was a pretty old guy. He knew that he would never see the fruits of his labor materialize. He couldn't release them back out in the wild. They'd get shot and eaten. So that's, that, to me, is noble work. None may be more noble than this lady who takes care of the vernal pools, the rainwater pools that evaporate in the heat of the summer to protect federally listed animals that can fit in a single drop of water. Vernal pool tadpole shrimp. That is her job. And she cares more deeply than anyone I've ever met about saving these little animals. If you save the little stuff, you'll save everything else. Or George Gann, who has given his entire life, his full measure of devotion, to documenting and saving the rare insects and plants that live in the Pine Rocklands ecosystem right next to Zoo Miami. The federally endangered Miami tiger beetle runs like a rocket ship, really hard to get pictures of. But they were going to build a water park. They were thinking about building a water park and taking away this animal and all the other animals in li that live in this very rare ecotype. And Geographic showed up down there, me and a film crew, and we spent a couple days based out of the zoo in their conservation department. Since they own the zoo, they knew we were there. 
And what do you know? We named it our 15,000 species, and they decided a couple weeks ago not to build the water park. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Small but mighty. Everything counts. Everything matters. Everything matters, right? Eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. That's the name of the photo arc. We are primates. We are drawn to that. That's why. If we can make them look like they're smiling, we humans like that. We want to see happy. We want to be buoyed by that. Even if the turtle's not. <laughs> if he's not really smiling, that's okay. We still want to anthropomorphize. You ever heard of Saturday Night Fever? There it is, right there. We put these animals on black and white backgrounds, by the way, to eliminate distractions. Nothing there, and no size comparison. That kangaroo, he's no bigger than a kangaroo rat. That elephant, same size as an elephant shrew. The polar bear, the same size as a perump poolfish, and they're only as big as my pinky. That's the whole thing. Let's see how these animals compare to each other. Let's see the wonder and the glory that's still left out there. Let's look at that. Most of these animals can be saved. And this is the golden opportunity, the last opportunity maybe, but the golden opportunity to really move people. We can read people's minds now thanks to social media. We can see that they love baby animals. We can see how long they linger on them. We can see that they like videos better than stills. It's amazing. We can really track what people want, what moves them, what gets excited, what excites them. Cute baby animals. The more cute, the better. Look at how cute this guy is. Oh, he's going to come right up. He's going to come right up to the camera. If there's two babies, that's better than one. We know that. We can tell that. But think about this. We can reach the whole world now instantly. If I could go back to the good old days where we had where it was print only, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it because it took a year to get a picture in the magazine. Now we can tell the world about things good and bad. We can really move people and we can see how effective we are. And I am hopeful as can be that we can turn this around and get people to start caring. There's a baby pangolin on her mom. These are mammals, believe it or not. They're ancient and they're covered in the same material our fingernails are made of. We know what people like. They like big eyes. Mammals with big eyes, like the nocturnal tarsier. Even when this one stands up in a defensive pose, <laughs> they love that. On two legs, just like us. He's only about as big as a salt shaker, tiny little primate. We know that people love cats. These are all wild cats. And if one cat's good, lots of cats are better. So we play to that. We, really, we truly do. We know that they're not as fond of rodents. So we give them cute rodents. We give them as many cute rodents or weird rodents as we possibly can.